the Britannia Training Center at East Midlands Airport. These hopefuls fought off 8,000 applicants to win a place on the cabin crew training course. Aaron Smith is a former hairdresser. His new roommate, Jason Ravengard, used to stack shelves in Tesco. Uh, my name's Tracy and I'll be taking the course. The four-week course is gruelling and trainees must pass every stage to keep their jobs. The gopher. <laughs> no, not really. If I get through, I'll be so happy, yeah. Because I want to do it so much, I've really got to make sure that I'll get through. It would look failure as well to go back and say, I didn't do it. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> we don't bite. One of the things I'm looking forward to is working with the gay stewards. Puffers don't bother me. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not racist in that way at all. There's no competition, so it just leaves all the rest of the girls there for, for me. You know, out of the straight ones and the gay ones, who you think it's going to get the most attention? I know it's hard to say don't, you know, try and relax, but you've done the hard part. There's going to be difficult, it's going to be laughs, it's going to be tears, but we'll get there. Yeah. Is it on this side? Uh, yeah, wherever you are. Day three of the course, and the trainees are about to get their uniforms, and some strict rules about their appearance. So, um, you know, we do ask you to wear red lipstick, and to wear eye makeup, foundation. But anyway, if anybody wants to have a go, does anybody want to volunteer to sit up here? <laughs> yeah. Too much broth in it now. Uh, just a wee bit. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. That's um, what I thought about. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll nip it in the bud. Gonna be transformed tonight. You don't wear lipstick normally. You don't wear eyeshadow. Is that a hair grip? Yeah, it's my lucky hair grip. It's tie grip. Why is it lucky? Well, it's just because it keep me in touch with my hairdressing side, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I need to be on the aircraft and I see a girl and I can just... Slip it in. Yep. The hair grip. Yep. The other bit comes the leader. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, it gives me a great pleasure to present to you your Elizabeth Emmanuel designer uniform. Britannia are proud of their uniform. Each complete outfit costs nearly £2,000. and they're watching all the models and this is the best thing about it now. So they're going to get the box, it's like Christmas, I suppose. Anything, boys? Oh, it's like Christmas. I want a bit more than uniforms than my Christmas. Now the moment of truth. <laughs> Next day. Yeah. On the cabin crew oh, nice training growing, course, um... likely lads Aaron and Jason are on a mission to get a date with Tracy, their trainer. Tracy's car. <laughs> no wonder she's doing 110 passes with her hair, hair brushing this, this morning. She came out, come past us. I tell you, if this is what she can afford, though, you know what I mean? Blanket on the back seat. <laughs> Blanket, pillars. She's got the works. I could just pick her up and uh, whisk her away. Take her off home, oh, yeah. She's nice. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I would never say that to her. So, what did they actually say? Well, both of them were in there and they both said, Would you, What are you doing tonight then? How do you fancy coming out for a drink? And I said, No, I said, I've got the kids. And they said, well, we'll come round to you then. We'll bring this some... This is Jason and Aaron. Jason and Aaron, yeah. Hey, that's so good. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Sorry. Uh, um, have you got any spare nappies, please? Sorry, it was spare just me. Today, the trainees are learning how to deal with you problem don't... passengers. Oh, we've just been stuck at the airport for four hours with these, this blinking rain and everything. Um, I have, I've run out of nappies and my, my little Josie needs... Really, honestly, I'm sorry, but it's... 
Oh, don't worry, my darling. It's all right. It's oh, all right. Yes, it's oh, I'm sorry, talk. but sorry, the smell as well. Sorry, it's just the customs. All right, all right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and have a word with the other passengers with babies, see if they've got any nappies Please, on board. I'm sorry. If they've got any spare ones, can then... It, um... Can it be quick, sorry, because it's just leaking right. through on the side here. All right, no worries. worries. I'll get you some... Uh, worry, is it darling, leaking badly, or right. is it...? Yeah. I know. Badly? Yes. Yeah, right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Aaron handled that then? Really well. He did. He did. He did. It was good thinking as well about asking another passenger. Mm. And also the, he asked the age of the nappy. Yeah. Signs. Was it? It's very good. If the baby's irate, then the mother's going to be irate. Yeah. If you can calm the mother down, then then it, it's a big help. Yeah, you did really well, Aaron. Well done. Mm. Well done. Does that mean we get a date now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Back at the training course, Jason and Aaron are still trying. I pulled these two girls. They are so nice. They are really names? nice. Their names are Sarah and Sarah. Would you believe it? Sarah and Sarah. All right, cool. It's amazing. And for once, succeeding. Jason's no longer flying high. He got blown out. I don't know where they are, man. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Trainees Aaron and Jason are just four hours away from qualifying as Britannia cabin crew. Bonjour. Last night they were out celebrating. Jason started chatting up a couple of girls and uh, I thought it was all going all right. We were singing and all that, but, but uh, I think she had a boyfriend. Yeah. Is this Tracy Farron's purse? Yes, this yeah. is evidence that our trainer was in our room last night. She's left her purse. There's on one final there. assessment to go before successful candidates pass out in the wing ceremony. Jason and Aaron must be ready in 15 minutes. First to be assessed, Jo, fresh from her triumph over the cabin door. <laughs> right, Jo, for your overall performance, what I've brought for you is Jo has done very well on the course, even with the fact that she has two small children. We had a problem with the door and the mock-up, but she overcame this. Jo has a warm, friendly personality and will just be wonderful with our passengers. I wish her the very best of luck, and she is going to make an excellent cabin crew member for Britannia. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. That's lovely. Cry now. That's all right. Next, Aaron. And uh, I think that you're going to do very well on the line. I think you're going to be popular. And as I said to Jason, I mean, I'll say it to you, I think it'll be better when you pair a split up. <laughs> I think that there have been times during the course where I thought, you know, maybe you're going a little bit too far. It's been a gruelling four weeks, but everyone's through. Spice boy, Jason. Jason. <laughs> Second Spice Boy, Aaron. Aaron. Oh. <laughs> Aaron and Jason are now fully qualified cabin crew. We've done it. Four Within weeks. days, they'll be representing Britannia in the air. <laughs> that's your portion. Here, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, what would we do? In the crew room, trainees Aaron and Jason have made it. It's time for their first flight as fully trained cabin crew. And Jason is getting a first day tip from BJ. 
Look, look, Possible. handle, handle, look. Oh no, I oh, know. No, it doesn't go up. Yes, it does. <laughs> now wheel it. Fuck <laughs> off. I'll carry it like this. <laughs> Have you seen this? Look, look, look. It That's might. how you do it. No, I can't, honestly. <laughs> makes me go red. Oh, is this a sexuality thing? Well, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's just like Yeah, I know like it a, is. It's just like a firm breast carry. I don't know, I don't understand. 37,000 feet up, and the new boys are hard at it. Aaron, this tropical fruit juice, is it in a carton, or is it just orange juice? Sorry? The pina doradas. Is it orange juice? Pina colada? Pina doradas, dot doradas. Is it orange juice? Um, go down and see them. All right, we'll be back in one second. This lady was off to drink, and she said, oh, yes, I'll have a, I'll have a schnapps, please. And the steward said, I'm oh, very sorry, madam, we don't carry schnapps. So she said, what do you mean you don't carry schnapps? We've just left Austria. So we said, well, we left Luton this morning. We don't sell Vauxhall cars either. <laughs> at breakfast in the front cabin, Jason's about to fall prey to the tradition of playing a joke at the expense of the first timer. You didn't talk Yeah, I've been walking up and down the cabin and I've seen, I haven't seen that many nice girls at the moment, unfortunately. Um, most of them come along with couples. So I'm a bit out of luck. Hoping for the return flight though. Airline tonight. Aaron fights to keep his job. She was like having a bad day that day and I'm just saying I caught the brunt of it because I really, honest to God, I wasn't rude. <laughs> The summer is almost over for likely lads and novice stewards Jason and Aaron, who are enjoying a stopover in the Dominican Republic. This is nice, mate. This is this slightly nicer uh, than um, Barbados, except for in Barbados there's more single women than there are here. Yeah. Everyone this here is, is getting married or couples, got married. Yeah. Yeah. Honeymoon. Been together for donkey's years. Would recommend it to the lads. Not a lads' holiday, but Definitely it's certainly not. a nice holiday. Yeah. What towels? It's our first long haul trip. So basically what I've done to help us along the way because otherwise, because we're new, they'd be looking for us to make mistakes and they'd be picking up on it and taking the piss. So I've drawn up a little uh, a guide. It tells me and Jason basically where we're working from. On our boarding zones, the meal service, the second meal service. Basically it's got everything that we need to be doing on there. And there's a the copy flight. for me and a copy for him so as we uh, can look like we know what we're doing rather than looking silly and like, ooh. <laughs> As the season draws to a close, it's D-Day for new boy Aaron. Britannia are ready to tell him if his contract is being renewed. There are no vacancies for the winter season, but will he be asked back next spring? Aaron knows there have been problems. Right, I'm going into the office. I'm in, uh, I'm in deep dodo at the minute. I've been in trouble a fair bit since I got here, and now I've, uh, I've been called in um, again and I've got to go in now and uh, speak to Julian about it. He is a bit of a charmer, definitely, uh, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, he probably thinks that that will get him through life, but unfortunately, um, with us, that won't. You need, you need more than charm. I'm going to have to blag it up there big time. I'm just going to have to try my best to, to, get, to get kept on next year. He might think that he can get away with things, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, I am his, uh, his manager, and... Um, you know, he has to be told. Wish me luck. <laughs> Air Steward Smith did not show on report for 11.15 Hagada. All telephone numbers in the system were tried in order to contact him. However, then what disturbs me more is then, which I spoke to you about last Saturday, Alison, the crewing officer, said that you had a very bad attitude. They called you at, on standby, when you were on standby, at uh, six in the morning. If I was rude, then fair enough, but 
I really can't, for the life of me, remember anything to do with that phone call that they could have taken as being rude. I spoke to people, like I said last night on the phone, and mm. they said they've been effing and blinding because they've been called out. But, you well, know, at that time in the morning, people, you know, it's, it's a well-known fact throughout life. No one's very good in the morning. No, You'd be not. insane if you was to wake up and say, hello, who there? You're calling me out. Brilliant. Ah, oh, thanks very much. Which you... is fine, but they, they do. But to be honest with you, Aaron, in all the years I've been a manager, I've never had a report that says um, that you weren't interested in the number one or where you were going. For some reason, this woman was going through the menopause or something. She had she's a bad young, day. Garen. She's only young, Garen. She's well, in, she's she was early early in season, time of the month, whatever. She was like having a bad day that day, and I'm just saying I caught the brunt of it because I really, honest to God, I wasn't rude. You see, I've flown with you, as you know, and yes, you were great on the flights, but you have to be. We have to be reliant on you to be there on time or to be, the, or to be available for duties. That's why we have standbys. And if we don't, because we have to make sure the flights go on time. Um, now, I can't rely on you to do that. And this, this is just the evidence that goes with it. Um, because for some reason, you've, you're excellent on the line. You're actually very good on the line when you're on your flights. You've got some very nice assessments. You've also got some, some assessments where they've said, OK, you need a bit more time. Um, and you weren't aware of certain things. But generally, you've done fine. But what's very disappointing is that you've got these things all relating to being unavailable um, or missing a flight completely. Yeah, like I said, I do, you know. I won't put up an argument when I can see it's heavily stacked against. I do like you. Excellent. Um, good fun, nice person. But I just feel that... Um, I have no other choice but really to lay you off at the end of October. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry I have to say that, really, but what choice do I have? Oh, no, I don't, I don't suppose you have any choice, mate. All right, thanks, Alan. Okay. Okay. Aaron's career at Britannia has lasted just five months. There's nothing in the world I could have done to stop what just happened in that office. I was getting the bullet from... from this morning from yesterday and I knew it and there was no there's no use crying over spilt milk I've got the sack you know I'll live another day and I'll get another job but you know, there's no use walking out of here oh, go, go, go. I'm just gonna go and play golf now Jason and Aaron are saying their Shut farewells <laughs> <laughs> what you like I got the bullet I oh, know you I got can't... kept on then yeah no not over Christmas back in February oh, that's better than nothing isn't well... it? I try and take it as as light-hearted as possible but there are some people that it's like their, you know, it's their life. They're like, ooh, I love this job and, you know, do it right. Whereas I'm more sort of, yeah, let's, 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 let's just get it done, take, chill out. It's a change. I want you to be like a little Britannia robot. <laughs> Meals, drinks, service. And it's like, I don't, that's what I don't agree with. I do enjoy the job, though, I definitely do. But it's just, I just didn't want to change and obviously, that's why I'm out. <laughs>